What are the drivers of infant mortality? Why children are dying before the age of five? What is the level of stunting? What is the level of, uh, you know, a child not growing at the right age? All these kind of things. Looking at them, anemic among the expecting mothers. And tell the regions that, hey, look, we have this problem. You should uh, step up your food production. You should also encourage things like breastfeeding, encourage mothers, expecting mothers to go for antenatal clinics and all these kind of things. We are having running water. Okay, it was just fine. Good, good, good. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they need the mother's need to be refed and so on. Mm. Yeah. What we are forgetting in terms of nutrition is to whatever is really available for the person at that particular moment in time. Because now we can't be saying uh, you should be going buying food in the supermarkets, maybe on an expensive price, or always eat five different types of fruits in a day. You know, with our economic system at the moment, um, what we are trying to look at is to, to complement and to see what are the people, uh, what are the food types that the people can afford which are at their reach. The, the duty of the Legislative Assembly is to make the laws, to review the laws. So that is why we need to look at our, our laws, are they supportive or are they prohibiting? Some of the things that we are talking about, water, access to water, sanitation, um, what are our laws saying? We need to start to look at it closely and look at it with a nutrition uh, lens um, and then we'll be able to, to understand how can we then change these laws. Civil societies in many countries within the SADC region are doing wonderful well. We did um, workshops in the Kavango region, in the Hangwena regions with the governors and the constituencies to raise awareness on, on nutrition. These are um, decision makers, these are people that are making very crucial decisions that um, add value to the lives of the citizens. And I think the interaction we had with them and around the issue of nutrition particularly and how is a country we can scale up nutrition um, was very much fruitful. You cannot only just be aligned to the, to the nutrition only. Mm. You can even al align you to the disaster risk management, even structure mm. that we are, we are doing now with the state of emergency. Mm. And you could also save us a lot, you know. You can reach where we cannot reach. Yes. Uh, as a teacher, I have interest in that. Because sometimes we see children failing their, their schools uh, and, and we blame them. Perhaps uh, they are failing because their cognitive development was not properly uh, really achieved because of the uh, lack of good nutrition, good food, and all that kind of thing. Uh, so the Alliance will also have to um, have a national structure and then also to see in which regions is the Alliance present, through whom, and so forth. So it's a, given that Synagos is the interim secretariat and may continue in that role, it's therefore also Synagos' role to ensure that there is regional leadership and capacity and activities and the link between the regions and the national level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
My name is Beauty. And my name is Ings. And you are watching the Breakthrough Series on Nutrition. See you guys. See you.